Imagine a vast expanse of undulating golden sands, kissed by the relentless Arabian sun, a world where the skyline is but a mirage. This is the cradle of our story, a place where dreams are as boundless as the desert itself. From this seemingly barren landscape, a vision arose, a vision to erect a symbol of human achievement so profound that it would forever alter the narrative of architectural brilliance. Our journey begins in the heart of Dubai, a city renowned for its audacious endeavors and technological prowess. This is a city that not only embraces the future, but also shapes it. Amidst this city's ceaseless pursuit of excellence, a spark was ignited, a spark that would eventually become the beacon of human ambition and innovation, the Burj Khalifa. So as the desert winds whisper tales of the past, we stand on the brink of a monumental journey, a journey that began with a dream, a dream to build not just another skyscraper, but the tallest man-made structure the world has ever seen. A dream to challenge the impossible, to reach for the sky, and in doing so, to redefine the limits of architectural imagination. Let's delve into the genesis of this ambitious project, the spark that ignited the creation of the Burj Khalifa. Dare you imagine a marvel so tall that it pierces the heavens themselves? The Burj Khalifa, the towering titan of the world's structures, stands proud and prominent, so colossal in fact, that on a clear day, it can be espied from an astonishing 95 kilometers away. It is truly a testament to human ingenuity, a spectacle that leaves one speechless. But there's more. The Burj Khalifa boasts a magic of its own. It is so grand, so incredibly lofty, that from its apex, one can witness the sunset, take the elevator down and see it again. A phenomenon that seems straight out of a fantasy tale. Now let us embark upon the extraordinary journey of its creation. The conception of the Burj Khalifa ignited in the year 2004. But this was no ordinary project. It was a dream, a vision, a promise to transform the face of downtown Dubai into a shining beacon of growth and prosperity. The ambition that fueled its construction was, in itself, as towering and awe-inspiring as the structure. The design this gigantic masterpiece was inspired by the spider lily, a humble desert flower native to the region. This intricate design was brought to life by the celebrated architectural firm Skidmore, Owings and Merrill, translating nature's simplicity into a symbol of human grandeur. The Burj Khalifa is not merely a structure, it is a testament to the limitless potential of mankind when vision, ambition and innovation converge. The first step in the construction process was the foundation work. It involved the excavation of the site and the driving of 192 piles, each a whopping 43 meters deep into the ground. Following this, the construction of the superstructure commenced in January 2005. The superstructure of the Burj Khalifa is made up of reinforced concrete up to the 156th floor, beyond which steel structure is used. The concrete used in the construction was not just any regular concrete, it was a special high-density, low-permeability concrete to withstand the extreme pressures of the thousands of tons bearing down on it. The construction of the Burj Khalifa was carried out in a spiraling upward pattern, which helped in evenly distributing the weight and providing structural support. This method also allowed for simultaneous construction on various levels, speeding up the process considerably. By June 2006, the Burj Khalifa had reached 50 levels. Two years later, in January 2008, the structure had reached 130 levels, and the exterior cladding began. The cladding system is made of reflective glazing with aluminum and textured stainless steel spandrel panels to withstand Dubai's extreme summer temperatures. In September 2009, the Burj Khalifa reached its final height of 828 meters with 164 floors. The building was officially opened on January 4, 2010, marking a significant milestone in architectural history. To summarize, the construction of the Burj Khalifa was an intensive process that involved meticulous planning and execution. Beginning with the deep foundation work, the construction followed a spiraling pattern for the superstructure, using high-density concrete and steel. The building's exterior was clad in heat-resistant material to withstand the harsh summer temperatures of Dubai. After five years of construction, the Burj Khalifa reached its final height in 2009, becoming the tallest structure in the world. The Burj Khalifa stands today as a testament to human ingenuity and architectural brilliance, a symbol of aspiration and ambition, reaching towards the sky. It's not just a building, it's an icon that embodies the spirit of Dubai and its vision for the future.